Trump denounces abortions on children with Down syndrome, LLUH Richard Hart disagrees. Down syndrome individuals have a right to life. Donald Trump, the President of the United States says yes, while Richard Hart, the President of LLUH says no. Which means that Donald Trump is more biblical on the life issue than Richard Hart. The remnant is described in the Bible as having a high regard for the Ten Commandments, and one of those commandments forbids the killing of innocent human beings. Donald Trump agrees with this, Richard Hart does not. Let's consider the evidence. Abortion, which Donald Trump condemns and Richard Hart defends is strongly condemned in the Bible. We find numerous biblical references to the shedding of innocent blood, which the Bible condemns the innocence of Down syndrome children is not in dispute. President Donald Trump affirmed the humanity of children with disabilities in a recent presidential message released by the White House to coincide with National Down Syndrome Awareness Month this October. Individuals with Down syndrome may experience physical and mental challenges as a result of an extra or partial chromosome 21. Regardless of these difficulties, surveys of people with the condition have found that 99% of them are happy with their lives. As the statement noted, around 6,000 babies are born with Down syndrome every year. The presidential message denounced abortions taken against children who have been diagnosed with the condition, emphasizing how the Trump administration is committed to standing against those who seek to discriminate, devalue, and demean the sanctity of their lives. As president, I denounce radical proposals to terminate pregnancies of unborn children with Down syndrome, said Donald Trump. Richard Hart, on the other hand is on record defending the abortion of Down syndrome unborn children. The president concluded his messages by saying, Our country must never run astray from the certitude that the lives of those with Down syndrome are precious and full of potential. During Down Syndrome Awareness Month, we are reminded that we must never waver in our efforts to support these individuals so that they can enrich the soul of our nation with their joy and love. There is no doubt that Donald Trump stands firmly in defense of the right to life of the children with the Down syndrome anomaly. This is in a stark contrast with the opinion of Richard Hart, the president and CEO of the Loma Linda University Health Organization. Such things as rupture of the membranes, or breaking of the waters, as we call them, and if that happens before 20 weeks of pregnancy, that baby's ch lungs cannot develop, and so when the baby is born, even though it's not aborted, when it's born at 40 weeks, almost invariably will die. It's those kind of decisions in the middle that I think we've got to have paragraph six for, frankly, and allow the doctor and the mother to make the wisest decision in trying to do that. This painful fact was confirmed on October, 2019, when the General Conference adopted a new statement on abortion that includes what some described as the abortion loophole. Section 6 of the document was added to justify the killing of unborn babies with fatal prospects and birth anomalies, on the excuse that such abnormalities rendered the babies incompatible with life. Hospitals are full of patients that are incompatible with life. They are treated with loving care and many of them become compatible with life. We don't deprive them of life simply because they are incompatible with life. Hart made specific reference to trisomy 21, the scientific name for Down syndrome, thus justifying the killing of unborn children with this anomalous physical and mental characteristic. According to Richard Hart, this is precisely the reason we Adventists need Section 6 in the new document on abortion. And, Unfortunately, his reasoning prevailed, thus placing the Adventist church on the side of abortion. Can you believe this? The church that had always defended the sacredness and validity of the Ten Commandments, is now officially defending the violation of the one designed by heaven for the protection of human life. Thus we now have President Donald Trump, a non-Adventist leader, defending the right to life of Down syndrome individuals, and President Richard Hart, a renowned Adventist leader arguing in favor of killing them. If this situation continues, the Adventist church will become morally irrelevant. 
we are repeating the mistakes made by the nation of Israel that ended by denying the one sent to free them from sin and from their mortal enemies. The Jewish leaders thought that taking the life of one innocent human being was a small price to pay for the safety of their nation. They crucified him and rushed home in order to keep their Sabbath holy. A few decades later, the entire Jewish nation perished and their holy city and temple were destroyed. The Adventist Church participated in the slaughter of millions of innocent unborn children, honored the greatest serial killer of unborn children both at LLU, LSU and the General Conference as a great benefactor, and continue defending the abortion of Down syndrome unborn children. Our only hope is to stop going the wrong way and to search for the old path set by our Adventist pioneers who condemned the evil practice of abortion in all its forms. Please, share this video with your friends. And watch the videos listed below. And post your comments below.